be ready to bundle up because you are definitely going to need it. Yeah, picking up our team coverage this morning, News 5 Shayla Girardin live in Colorado Springs, also out braving the temperatures. And Shayla, sadly, you're not the only one and you're pretty prepared for it. Good morning, Ira. Yes, I tried to be prepared this morning. It is very, very cold out here, as you guys keep saying. As you can see, I've got my gloves on, my hat, even two jackets, and I'm still feeling these cold temperatures. 25 degrees right now, and this number just keeps dropping and dropping as the morning goes on, and we've only been out here for an hour so far, and we keep seeing these numbers ugh, going down, and as cold as it is for you and I, just think of how brutal it was for anyone who had no choice but to stay out in the cold last night. Hundreds of homeless are flocking to local shelters, trying to find a reprieve from this bitter cold. But with shelters already filled to the max, many of them are forced to face those elements outside. Now in Colorado Springs, the rescue mission's capacity is 200. But last night when they closed their doors, they were already at 230. And they say it will likely get even busier. Now in Pueblo, the situation is even worse. Right now there are no warming shelters, which means the homeless have no choice but to stay outside in these conditions, which could mean life or death. They don't always get the weather reports, and so often, um, you know, hypothermia sets in and people, people do die. So right now, there is no available warming shelter in Pueblo. That's our concern. There is a shelter under construction in Pueblo. Unfortunately, they tell News 5 they won't be ready in time to open for this winter season, and that's due to a lack of funding. Right now, community leaders are still looking for a solution to this problem. And if you want to help with that or have any ideas, we have the info you need up on our website, koaa.com. Plus, please remember as you're heading out the door this morning, especially if you have children heading to school and the bus stops, you're going to want to put on those extra layers because you're definitely going to need them. For now, watching out for you in Colorado Springs, Shayla Gerardin, News 5.